Okay, so I found this fantastically uh, dangerous looking uh, old film of the farm and uh, of harvest. So I'll just play it now and talk through. So this was, it's quite a long, there's quite a lot of um, things on this film. So I'm just showing the, uh, uh, this bit with the combine. So this is our first ever combine turning up, which I believe turned up in 19... Uh, 60, um, hang on, 62, uh, you can see there's some snow on the ground, I think, there. Uh, it might have just been into 63, actually. My sister was born in 62, um, but it was around that time. It was the winter, winter of 62, 63. So, um... This was a Massey Harris. Uh, I've got a feeling it was a 780, but um, that might not be right. So we'd already got high, um, wheat put in um, to um, a, a, a barn or whatever, ready for the thrashing machine. So instead of using the thrashing machine, my uh, dad, who's there, uh, decided to use the combine. And uh, so he disconnected the knife, took the reel off, and looks like they put a bit of wood there. And as you can see, he's feeding the sheaves into the combine, inches from that auger running. I mean, that is just, it makes me wince just to watch this. I mean, how dangerous is that? We think we're bad for health and safety now. Um, and then parked at the back of the combine, they parked the baler. Um, so essentially they were just using the combine as a, as a thrashing machine. And uh, so they were feeding the straw in the front. Um, I don't know what's happened there. Looks like my grandma cut in a different bit. Uh, feeding the straw in the front. Um, it was getting thrashed and then bailing as it came out the back of the combine. Um, I don't know who that young man is uh, with, who's handling the bales there, but the, the young man on the trailer there stacking the bales, he, uh, he went on, his name's Michael, he went on to be our cowman for many years. Um, but yeah, look at that. That is so dangerous, my God. Uh, well, I assume it, I think he's took the the knife doesn't seem to be going, but um, I would hope he took the knife out. But uh, it's it's bad enough as it is, and obviously you've got the wheat there. Oh, I suppose it could be barley. I'm not sure what it is feeding into uh, into the tank. Now that trailer that uh, Michael's leaning on there, that is a trailer I did up last year. So. Um, that's actually looking better than it is there. And then, yeah, although we're not, it's not a bagging combine, we did bag it. I rem I can just remember the bags. So they would park the trailer up, someone would be sitting in the combine pulling the lever that engages the belt for the uh, unloading auger. And as you can say, see, um, Fill up the sacks of wheat. Quite an operation. The uh, I remember the combine. I don't remember it working, but I remember it. It was parked here. It ended up getting cut up for scrap. Um, There we are. That's um, I believe they they got the combine because the previous year, it um, the thrashing machine had cost more to come and thrash it than the than the crop was worth. And this is obviously the first time, I would say, that next summer when uh, when the combine actually ended up in the field, being used. That's my aunt being left. I think I've got a feeling. They said she sat on there and was absolutely terrified. But all the guards here, all 
nothing's guarded at all. That's what uh, I say, the guards, there are no guards there. Um, But anyway, that's terrific. Um, there's lots more on this uh, on this film. It's with the cows and different different machines. So I might um, I might actually uh, do a few more of these if uh, uh, to get them on. So I'm not quite sure how to put them on from a DVD. So I'm just filming them off the telly. <laughs>